As some of you might already know if you watch my vlogs, I've recently been to London for my graduation. Yay! I was there for two days with my mom and my brother and it was so amazing. Mwah, I love them. We have been shopping a lot so I thought that I would do a haul video to show you guys what I bought. I'm literally so excited about all the stuff that's in front of me right now. It's like a mountain of goodies! So this is gonna be a mix of stuff that I bought the week before I went to London because I actually went shopping here in Denmark that week and stuff that I got in London either that I bought for myself or that my mom bought for me. This video is going to be divided into three sections, one being clothes, <laughs> one being makeup, and one being stuff that's not clothes or makeup. <laughs> the first thing that I'm going to be showing you is makeup artists. <laughs> no, that is incorrect. The first thing that I'm going to be showing you is makeup items because Lord knows that London has so many shops that we don't have in Denmark and so many brands that we don't have in Denmark so I just wanted to buy it all. As you can see in my vlog I went to Selfridges which is this big shopping mall in Oxford Street in London and it is just filled with everything. On the ground floor there is this giant room just dedicated to makeup brands and all the different makeup brands have different stalls so you can just go to the makeup brand that you wish to buy something from and talk to a professional makeup artist that will know you know exactly what you need for your skin tone skin type whatever so obviously I went to the NARS stall because we don't have NARS in Denmark or at least I don't think we have not to my knowledge anyway and I am obsessed with NARS so that sounded so fake I'm obsessed with NARS NARS? <laughs> I just recently tried one of my friend's blushes from NARS and I thought it was gorgeous so I wanted to buy it. But then when I got there I got sucked into what I like to call the NARS trap where you go for one product and you get back or you get home with so many products and you're like what happened? But yeah I went there for one specific blush, I didn't get that blush because I couldn't remember the name or the color so that's nothing to go on. But I did get a blush though, so that's the first item that I'm going to be showing you. The one that I actually got is this NARS blush called Orgasm. And what a wonderful name. <laughs> and supposedly it's the number one in the world right now. So I guess... Can you see that on my hand? <laughs> okay, I am sorry that there is a giant something on my hands right now. Um, I work with kids every day and today someone decided to draw something on my hand or actually I think it says something in Arabic but I'm not really sure. Anyway, this is supposedly the number one in the world right now so I guess I'm not original at all actually. Meh. But to be fair I understand why it is the most popular one in the world right now because the color is so beautiful. There is a little bit of shimmer in it but not too much so you're not gonna be looking like, you know, fucking Edward Cullen in sunlight when you wear this. It's super pigmented as well so I'm guessing it's gonna last me for a long time and it blends really well into your skin so it's, it's really good. I'm really really happy with this purchase. The next thing that I got at the NARS stall in Selfridges is this NARS powder. It is a translucent powder. It's called uh, NARS Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, it just looks like this. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh. It's just um, white and it goes onto your skin without any pigment at all. So basically if you have you know the perfect concealer or the perfect foundation for your skin you can just set it with this powder and it has no color in it so it's not gonna affect the kind of flawless <laughs> finish you had with your foundation if that makes any sense at all. I've only tried this once but I loved it! It was so good! I actually wore this for my graduation so you can go back to the vlog and watch that. I have got a little bit of oily skin as well and this just kept my face like matte and not shiny at all so I'm really really pleased with this. We're gonna be best friends. Mwah. Oh my god lipstick. <laughs> no it's not coming off. I broke it. The last thing I got from NARS is this very small primer. It's called the NARS Pro Prime Pore Refining Primer. Um, that's a lot of peas. It is just a little tester um, but I am actually so excited to test this because I have used the same primer for 
forever basically. After NARS I went on a hunt for the perfect eyeshadow and guys, I think I found it. Hallelujah! Um, I went to the Urban Decay stall and I got the Naked 2 palette. It looks like this on the inside and it's got this little brush with it. The brush is actually really good. I wasn't expecting it to be that good because normally when you get um, a brush with your eye makeup, it's kind of like mediocre and you just want to use your own your own brush. I chose this one because it has a great variety of colors and I like that it has both all the warm and uh, golden colors but also some silvery ones that I really like to wear. I've only tried it out once and I was not disappointed, or I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. I also really like that most of the colors are uh, more taupe, taupe? Taupe? Because I think it goes really well with my skin tone that is so white. I mean, give me a Starbucks! Lastly, in the makeup department, I recently purchased this small MAC eyeshadow palette. I bought it here in Denmark. Uh, right before I went to London and basically if you don't know how this works you buy the small palette and then you um, hand pick these colors to go into the palette so they don't necessarily come together you just choose whatever ones you like. I am not going to try to pronounce the names of these eyeshadows but instead I am going to write the names of them in the description below along with all the names of every item that I'm showing in this haul video. So if you're interested in buying any of these things you can go down and there should be a name and a link to where you can buy it. I also got this nail polish from Barry M. It's called the Jelly High Shine Nail pa Paint and it's in this white creamy color. Um, it's really beautiful on. I'm actually wearing it right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I know. Um, and lastly, in the beauty department, I got me some fake eyelashes. I picked these up in Primark and they were only one pound each, which is so super, super cheap. I picked up two of the natural kind and one that's called Intense. Ooh. They're both in black and they're both pretty simple. Um, I've tried this brand before, it's from P.S. I Love You. No, that's not, that's the name of a movie. It, they're, they're from the brand P.S. Love. I've worn these on nights out and they never come off before I, you know, I want them to come off and they look beautiful and I don't want to say natural because obviously they're not natural. Okay, moving on to clothes. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously when I go to London I have to go to Primark because it is a huge store filled with bags and shoes and jewelry and clothes and it's amazing and it's super super cheap. It is not always um, the best quality but I like to buy stuff from there because you can just like buy maybe a t-shirt or a bag and wear it until you tear it. <laughs> and then just buy a new one because it wasn't that expensive anyway. Firstly, I got this amazing t-shirt. On the front it has these female villains from Disney films and it says bad girls have more fun. Yay! Literally me. Fun story, this was actually the most scary thing that I knew of when I was younger. I went to the cinema with my grandmother to watch The Little, the little Mermaid. The little bobo. I started bursting out in tears because I was so scared of her. She's scary. She's still scary today. Also in Primark I got socks. Not really interesting at all, but they're here. They are cheap. <laughs> Why am I showing these to you? Ah. I got this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dress from H&M. It has a super, super amazing pattern and I like the colors on it. It makes me feel very Pocahontas and I also really like uh, the shape of it or the cut of it or whatever because it really accentuates my waist in a good way, in a way that doesn't make me look giant and like I'm about to burp but actually makes me look kind of cute if I do say so myself. In H&M as well I went to the uh, men's department because I do that. I like to buy men's clothes. I think they look awesome and I don't really care if a piece of clothing was meant for a man or a woman as long as I like wearing it and I feel comfortable wearing it. I picked up this. It's just this thick great material that really keeps you warm in the winter. It is black with these white stripes down in the front and down the arms and it has these buttons down in the front as well. It just goes very well with 
like a casual t-shirt or tank top or whatever over a pair of skinny jeans. And it's perfect for when I just want to chill, but not like one C chill, but more like I got up today and I thought about something and I wore this because I wanted to kind of chill. Lastly from H&M, I got this shirt. I feel like the shape of a shirt made for a man just looks more casual on a woman and that's kind of what I'm going for with this one. I like to wear shirts either around the waist and then you know you don't even care what size it is as long as the arms are long enough to go around your waist uh, or just like loosely over again a t-shirt or a tank top. After my graduation we went upstairs in um, the Barbican building where, where the graduation happened um, and upstairs there were these stalls with like rings and photos and t-shirts and whatever with the official City University logo on it. And that's where I got this awesome black hoodie. It's just like a regular hoodie. It has obviously the hoodie and it's got this pocket in front and then here it says City University London. It's just like such a nice thing to buy after you've finished an education. It just reminds you of all the good times you had there and all the hard times you had there slaving away at the library it makes me really proud to have gone to that school so I'm really happy about that thanks mom for my graduation I wore a dress that I bought the week before the graduation and this is the beautiful dress Ooh, look it look it look it look it it has this beautiful black color the top of it is lace and it goes like quite far up your neck so it kind of looks like you have lace painted on your le your neck, which, I mean, it sounds weird, but it looks really beautiful. And then the lace goes all the way down your arms and it stops here a little bit above your waist. And then from here and down, it is just, well, not lace. I like it a lot because it looks like you just lost weight when you wear it, <laughs> to be honest. Obviously, there's something underneath the lace so you don't have your boobies hanging out. Speaking of lace, the week before I went to London, I went out and I bought this color. It is black, it is lace, and it is it just goes around your neck like this. Um, and then you button it here at the front. And then you can basically wear it underneath any type of blouse or shirt that you want to wear it under. I don't know about you, but I kind of hate actually wearing the shirt underneath the blouse. Because I don't want to add an extra layer on top of me. Especially not if it's like a thick sweater or something because then you know the combination of you wearing a shirt and a sweater and maybe like something else underneath that will just make you look bigger and I'm not saying you're gonna look fat but you I just don't want to look bigger. I look big enough. One blouse that I really like to pair that uh, color with is this one that I also got the week before I went to London. It is from the brand Envy spelled E-N-V-I-I. -I. It is a beautiful dark green color and it has these white stripes down the, down the arms. It's a super super light material and it's super nice to wear. It almost feels like you're not wearing anything, which I mean can be inconvenient, I don't know, but I kind of like it. It's like you're floating around. Whee! What I really really like about this one though is that it has this sporty chic kind of feel to it. I love the street sport fashion kind of <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I believe it's called sporty chic and I've been really really into that lately and I feel like this one kind of embodies that in one blouse so yeah I like it. I like you. I appreciate you. I have also been doing some shopping in a Moss Copenhagen store and if you don't know what that is it is a Danish clothing brand that I think is super super awesome. They make very simple clothes with like very good quality. It's just like simple cool clothes. It's like oversized sweaters but in a cool way, t-shirts that are cool, snapbacks that are cool. It's just very cool. Cool cool. I feel like this would be the time where I tell you guys that I know nothing really about fashion or makeup. I just like to buy stuff that I like to wear. So when I'm describing a clothing item or a makeup item as cool, it's just because I find it cool and really I don't know what else to say. So cool. From Moss Copenhagen I got this t-shirt with the logo on the front. It has these rolled up sleeves, it's in a navy blue color and the material is so amazing. It feels like cashmere 
I'm not sure it is. I actually don't know what it is, but it feels amazing. Again, this is sporty, but not necessarily something you would only wear whilst running or like working out. This is something that I would wear over a pair of skinny jeans or a skirt and then pair it with you know, sneakers or even like high heels. I feel like that's that's what I like. I like to pair sporty stuff with like more elegant stuff and it looks super super cool. Also in Moscow, Copenhagen I bought this snapback. It also has their logo on it so I'm probably never gonna pair this with the t-shirt because that would just be too overkill. But I like it. Again, it's simple. It's black and white. It pretty much goes with anything. Next I've got this navy blue skirt. It's from M by M, I think. Yep. The reason I bought this is actually because I've been looking for a skirt that could go all the way up till here. <laughs> that for some reason has been kind of hard because every time a skirt fit me perfectly around here, it seemed to be too short so that my bum would be hanging out and that is not the look I'm going for, ever. But then if the length was just perfect, then the part up here would be too loose and it would fall down and my bum would be showing anyway. And that's never the look I'm going for! The last piece of clothing is actually from Pieces. Um, it is this grey scarf. It was on sale <laughs> and it is a really nice quality and it's super super warm and I really like it. There's really nothing to say about it other than the fact that it kind of looks good with everything. Lastly, we have stuff and things that are not makeup or clothes, but other stuff and other things. In Primark as well, I got two backpacks and a little handbag. I went in there just for one backpack, one specific backpack, but they didn't have it anymore, so I came out with three bags. It seems logical for me sometimes, not right now. So recently I've been using backpacks instead of handbags a lot because I really really like that you can just swing it on your back and it's practical and it can still look super super cute if you buy a cute backpack. I got this one, it is a little bit bigger than the old one I've got but I think it's super cute, it's really really simple. It has two compartments inside and it has enough room for all the stuff I need for work, my packed lunch, whatever I need, there's enough room for it in here. The other backpack I got was this gray one. It is a little bit more classy, I would say. It has only one compartment and it opens up with these thingies. I think it's really classy, it's really super cute and I would say that you can actually wear this on a night out. I know how people think that backpacks are for like if you have to go to school, if you have to go like trekking or whatever, but I say wear this on a night out. This is classy. This is beautiful. You can wear it with whatever. I mean, you can wear this with a beautiful dress. I would do that. The last bag or purse, I guess, that I got is this one. It is just a simple handbag, uh, two compartments. It has a gold zipper on it and gold stuff <laughs> on it. There's just enough room in here for like a hairbrush, a mascara, your credit card, all that type of stuff that you need for, you know, going out with your friends. The next item is this magazine from Lonely Planet. I was not aware that they even made magazines. So when I saw this, I'm like, yeah, I need that. I need that on the plane. No! It has a lot of beautiful pictures in it, which I like. And because I love traveling so much, I like to read about other people's fantastic travels all over the world and I get inspired and I kind of start planning new travels even though I don't have the money for it. It's kind of like self-torture actually. I really like reading these stories but really I'm also like I kind of want to cry because I'm not here right now. Okay guys we have two things left. Um, the first one is actually something that I bought on iTunes. I bought the new Rihanna album on iTunes and I think it's Amazing. I believe it's called A N T Y or Anti or Auntie. Auntie? Not Auntie, because that would be weird. <laughs> Imagine Rihanna naming one of her albums Auntie, and then the next one could be like Uncle. <laughs> it's not funny. I really, really enjoyed that album, but especially one song, the song called Desperado. I am obsessed. I listen to it like a million times a day. Yeah, yeah. 
lastly, I bought the best chocolate in the entire world, and yes, I've tasted Swiss chocolate. This is better. This is way better. I don't remember if I told this in the vlog, but during Easter last year, I discovered these chocolate Easter eggs from Cadbury. It's called Egg in a Spoon, I believe, and I was just obsessed with them. I went around London and I bought like all of them from different stores. I even went to where I worked, which is like an hour away from London, and I bought all the Cadbury's Egg in a Spoon that they had in the local stores around there too because I was so obsessed with them and I knew that they would not be on the market after Easter or at least that's what they told me in the store because yes, I asked. <laughs> so yeah, I thought that okay, I'm never gonna see these again or at least not until Easter next year so I need to like build a stash of chocolate eggs. So I did, and I ate them all. I didn't have a stash for that long. Anyway, on the way to the airport, after this two-day trip in London, I just randomly see like three or four packages of Cadbury's Egg in a Spoon sitting in some store and I go like, Wah! I actually even have a photo of me finding these eggs and just taking them up and like hugging them. They come in a little package like this, like normal eggs would, but inside they're like chocolate eggs. I only have the package left because, as you can tell, I have a hard time leaving these alone, so I bought three packages to take home to Denmark because I didn't have room for any more. I would have bought all of them if I had room. So yeah, I bought three packages with four eggs in each and I already ate it. Out of everything, I wish that Cadbury would sponsor me because I would talk all day about these. I could make a video just dedicated to these eggs because they're that good. Okay guys, that is it for my haul video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Also go back and check out my other videos. I recently did one with my friend Alexandra and it turned out really funny. We had so much fun filming it. So yeah, go check that out. Also, if you're interested, go and check the vlog that I did in London. I like it. It makes me happy. Bye now!